Okay, at around 10 past four, we had a fire break out uh, off uh, roughly in the vicinity of the top end of Worsley Spur, which has progressed uh, and spread to around 100 hectares. The fire is fanned by a, a northwest breeze, which is uh, increasing and expected to come through tomorrow again. Um, we've had uh, main, um, main uh, priority has been evacuating the houses in the vicinity of the head of the fire as it progressed up towards Summit Road. Uh, the areas that we've evacuated are Early Valley, Worsley Spur, Hoon Hay Valley and Kennedy's Bush. So I ask those people just to exercise care and patience and wait for further instructions. There are two community evacuation centres established. One is at the Hallswell Community Centre and the other one is at the Lincoln Community Centre where civil defence staff are there to assist. Uh, we will attempt to get more information on their properties for those who have been evacuated as soon as we can. In the interim, uh, I have 25 appliances on scene, which is over 130 firefighters, some specialist assets, and 12 helicopters operating with an air attack platform, and multiple heavy machinery. Our priority, again, after ascertaining any further life risk, is to anchor in off Worsley Road and across Summit Road. How's it looking in terms of the damage if you've lost any structures at this point? At this stage uh, on the aerial reconnaissance I did, we haven't lost any houses yet, but uh, I can't confirm uh, since, since that was uh, an hour ago. So I'll uh, ascertain that when I get back up to my command point. How close is it looking up there? Is Sorry? It, is it close to those properties? Very close. Yes, there's, there's probably about five or six houses in immediate threat and uh, we've evacuated with the assistance of our police colleagues from those properties. Is the fire still growing at this minute? Or? Yes, the fire's not contained. Uh, when we say contained, it means we've got a fire line right around the perimeter of the fire and we're not in that position obviously yet. We'll work through the night with uh, a transition plan and have a full uh, operation in play again tomorrow morning. Is there any idea of how it started at this stage? No, I've got fire investigators on site and they'll be ascertaining that in due course. And is it one area that's burning or is this multiple fires that have converged? Uh, obviously uh, you get the main fire tracking up the hill uh, towards Summit Road and across to Hoonhay Valley. But of course that induces spotting with the wind which carries the embers so you get multiple fires jumping ahead which we, we have to put air assets on obviously. Dave, what's your key message for the Sure, I'd just like everyone to say um, it's very similar to the last Port Hills fire here and we've been had a lot of that fire activity in Canterbury over the last three weeks so I ex ask people to be patient, uh, go to the communication, uh, sorry, the community centres if, uh, um, and await further messaging uh, and we should be able to brief our roadblocks for any of the residents uh, worried about their livestock and we will put a plan in place for that. Obviously with the uh, prohibited fire season I've got in play at the moment, um, the, uh, the fire behaviour is intense and it's also uh, fanned by this northwest wind plus the topography we're dealing with here which, which gives us extreme fire behaviour at the head of the fire. So if we hear a fixed wing plan is on route, uh, Yeah that's correct, so we're planning probably tomorrow morning uh, first light of putting a retardant line along Summit Road and we'll expand that as one of our anchor points. How um, long will residents be able to get home to the stage? It's too early to stay but I would uh, say budget on 24 hours at this stage but I'm very acutely aware of residents that have evacuated and their livestock needs uh, so we'll be looking at uh, information available to them shortly. How hard did you hit it today? Uh, you've got 10 helicopters, just quite a few. 12 actually. Uh, well, we've pretty much drained most of our air assets, uh, so we've hit it as hard as we could. Uh, it's at 130 staff. We also had another five hectare fire over at uh, Glen Tui, where I had nine appliances at that. So uh, it's, it has stretched us today, but we're still in a good position to form a plan for tomorrow. Oh, there's uh, the EMA going off. Uh, what is the fire burning for at the moment? Obviously, it wasn't planned to this point. Is it burning? Yeah, it's a mix of. Uh, Vegetation, so high tussock grass, scrub, gorse, broom, matagari, and uh, pine trees. Uh, the fire you can see behind me on Worsley Spur is a backing fire, so it's backing off. We're looking to get rid of that, so we've got a firm base off Worsley Spur.
Yeah, we've done a lot of uh, learning from that fire. That was uh, pre-2017, obviously. Um, there's some key learnings around working jointly together to ensure the public are uh, well informed, especially around the roadblocks and access back into properties where we've evacuated people. So uh, I've got that at top of mind. Can you give a, this might be a silly question, but are you on top of it at the moment? We can see the smoke going down where we are, but is it still actively growing aggressively or are you giving it a good go? Uh, we're making good progress on uh, on the uh, the flank across uh, on the eastern side here, and we're making anchoring along west uh, Worsley Spur behind me. Uh, Summit Road is still a threat at the moment, uh, at, where it's uh, fairly intense, as you can see. That's the top of the fire, and obviously the Hoon Hay Valley is a concern where I've got uh, more assets over there at the moment. And with that heavy machinery, what's going? To, what's the plan? So we use them to uh, open the uh, fire break, uh, actually physically removing fuels from the fire, uh, and that combined with our retardant line, which we're looking at doing along Summit Road, uh, will virtually starve that area of fuel and allow us to concentrate on, on the, the other flank of the fire. How long would a fire break be? That depends on uh, the threat area we're looking at, but it could be uh, up to half a kilometre to a kilometre long. Does it impact the Christchurch Adventure Park yet at all? Uh, no, but I understand that they precautionally evacuated and shut down. Is that right, Sergeant? That's correct. Yeah. Sergeant, just one question for you, if that's all right. Yep. Would you be able to just stand in front here with where the microphones are? Yep. Just a little bit to the side there. Um, we heard in some of the statements that um, there had been issues with members of the public rubbernecking, basically, and causing some trouble. Can, can you talk about that? Um, yeah, that was an issue early on. Um, up a few of the uh, the main arterial roads going up the valleys, uh, but we cleared that issue relatively quickly uh, um, without incident. How are the residents being that you've been dealing with an evacuator? Um, we're mindful of what happened seven years ago, so um, there are one or two that didn't want to leave their homes, but uh, we've managed to negotiate them with them uh, to leave uh, for their own safety. But uh, yeah, they're understandably shaken, and we understand that. Well, it's just a matter of, you know, empathising with the situation they're in, um, but also reminding them um, of the danger um, that's involved. Uh, and it's, you know, it's it's about protecting lives. Um, property can be replaced, but lives can't. Um, <clears throat> we want the roads around here as clear as possible. Obviously, uh, fiends have a, a, a lot of equipment that they want to bring in here, not just um, fire engines, all sorts of you know, earth moving equipment and water tankers, etc. So um, that gets problematic once we get up on the hill. So we need these roads cleared. So I understand the attraction to watch something like this, but uh, the more people hanging around here, the the more difficult our job becomes.